Hello friends, welcome back to City Skylines. Now this is my first video recording with my new Blue Snowball Ice microphone. So it may take a little bit of getting used to for me. Um, I find I need to talk a little bit more loudly than usual. But that should, you know, that should reap benefits later on. Um, it's also the first time I've ever used a condenser microphone. So I can only apologise if there are sort of pops and blips and whatnot within the recording. It's something I'm going to work on. I'm going to get a pop filter and hopefully that should stop some of the more awkward noises. Either way, we are currently in Dehumanized Land, which I'm considering changing the name off because, you know, Dehumanized Land's a shit name. And we are about to create a new area for forestry. So we're going to do so in this little section here. Um, let me just come into top down. Don't want it too close to the town area. In fact, I'm not leaving myself much room to expand the town area, but, you know, that could be worse. And I have built that squint, as I thought I was going to. Try again. Three hundred and sixty is the magic number. Okay. So our chirper feed is going absolutely insane here. Industrial waste found in the soil. Hmm. Okay, nothing major. So what we want here, we would like to zone this as industrial first of all. This bit, this bit, and there. And we'll have some high density commercial coming out of there as well. Then if we district this area, the new forest park, except it's not much of a park, it's actually an industrial area. Actually, I'll unpause the game, just realised I paused it when I loaded it up. And our money situation is suddenly looking a bit better. <laughs> I was thinking something was a little up there. So we'll just give this area some water. Like so. So hi! Small jump cut. I had to answer the door. Bit of an issue. So we have applied the forestry trait to the new forest park. Given that it's insanely lush, we should be A-OK -okay in that aspect. Natural resources for the area. There actually seems to be more ore than forest in that area, which is very strange. Interesting. Okay. Now we've built on all of our fertile land, which is unfortunate. We've almost no oil available to us. Forestry, however, we're doing 
quite well for. There's some oil here. And a little speck there. But all in all, that doesn't bode particularly well for us in terms of oil. So we may need to actually wait for... Uh, nuclear power. Nuclear power will be unlocked at... That's a solar power plant. That may also work. Nuclear is unlocked at 44,000 citizens, so we're a long way off that yet. We are slowly getting towards the edge of our electricity capabilities. So I am going to build a few more of those in the next little while. Again, I've paused the game. Apologies for all the banging going on here. There's some work going on outside my flat at the moment. So yeah, although I may have just bought myself a new microphone and was planning on some slightly more professional delivery, apparently it's just not going to happen today. <laughs> so we have the game on super speed, just so we can amass a little bit more money. And we're going to build perhaps two or three more of these just as the money comes in. We are approaching 10,000 citizens. Just keeping a small eye as well on our needs. We have a very small need for residential which is still being met by what we have out. Production is currently at 250 megawatts. So we have 80 odd going spare. Although production is going down and consumption is going gradually up. So I think for the time being it's quite important that we continue to build a few more of these wind turbines. We have reached our 10,000 population and we are now a small city. We have various new policies. We can, we've unlocked trains, including the train station. We can build a cargo train terminal. And we can actually create hydropower. Now, I've played around with hydropower in my other town, well, one of my other towns, and I can't get it to work properly. I mean, I understand the idea that you build a dam where there's a high current, so you'd think here would work. I don't have this bit of land yet, so I can't test that, but I mean, there's a small current here. The estimated production seems to pretty much stay at zero, no matter what you do. I realise I'm probably missing something here. Maybe I'm just not understanding the concept properly. But for now, we will avoid hydropower. I might actually look up the wiki and see if that has anything to add on the situation. So we probably have enough in terms of electricity production for the time being. I do have a hospital, I believe, don't I? If I don't, then it could be a good plan for We St Mary's to get a hospital. I don't have a hospital, in fact. Let's, yeah. Given that We St Mary's is the only area of the city which actually still allows smoking, that could prove quite wise, to put that there. It did cost us 50000 but that's okay. We still have a good 10,000 in the coffers and we're gaining almost, not just over 9,000 a week. 
Although that is going down. It's going down quite rapidly and seems to be in free fall. There we are. It's bottomed out now. So we'd like to build another residential area off of this section here. And I actually like the idea of that going like so. And then we'll build another small street coming off. And connecting up like so. And then we should have another branch coming off a bit like so. With another street. And we're creating some sort of weird and wonderful sculpture at this rate. <laughs> I don't know what my inspiration is behind this. There, there isn't much of an inspiration. But it will be our new district. In fact, we should go ahead and district that off right now. Cedar Heights. Let's not go with Cedar Heights. Let's go with the spire, because it looks a bit like a spire, you know, almost. So we would like a decent amount of high level residential here. Again our need for this isn't particularly high. So this is more just a future-proofing contingency plan, almost. Let's see if I can get my fill tool to work here. Ah, well, our needs weren't high, however, we do have some properties popping up there already. So we'll give them a couple of streets of commercial. And then, all that's left is to fill the area with as much residential as we can. And we'd definitely like to hook this up to the power as soon as possible, actually. Okay, so we'll take power from these lines here. Pop it around like so. And we'll extend our water pipes in this direction. And that should leave us all hooked up to the water and power supplies. How is our water supply? Our water supply is currently not great. We're very much in need of more sewage and input stations. We're fairly close to unlocking the water treatment plant, so I think I am just going to have one more outlet pipe there. 
and then of course we need to hook these up. Like so. And like so. So our water pump, our excuse me, water pumping capacity is now at 480,000 cubic meters per week, and our sewage treatment is at 360. I think that should be enough to get us to our 16,000 citizen target. We are still growing at a rapid rate. We do have a little need for industrial still. So I think it is in our interests to continue building out this way. Add that to the new forest district. And fill it in like so. Again, just push the water pipes out a little. So we have almost 200,000 in our coffers, which means it could be time to unleash a few of the unique buildings. Let's work out what we'd like. We could build a stadium. Now, I think I would actually like to do this. But to find the area. I think this is going to be the best place for it. So it has cost us 200,000, but it will give the town something very nice. I'm going to demolish one set of houses in here. To create a sort of conjoining road system. So, we have our sports stadium, our football stadium if you will. I think what we need near that is a landfill site. And it has to be on the same road. But I don't want it too close. There we are, on the same road, just on the other side of it. And a little bit down the lane. Sports stadium and a landfill site. I thought I may have been done with the Dundee references, but perhaps that's one more. Let's just let's just leave that one up to, up to you to decide, as you will. So our needs are very few at the moment. We need 20,000 for a solar power plant, which we don't have yet. Do we have a fully fledged fire station at all? Now I'm thinking we don't. 
and we obviously have a fair amount of fire risk in the New Forest Park. So, that said, let's build a fully fledged fire station. And that's actually done wonders for the surrounding area. The spire, that will just need a little firehouse. Could also use a healthcare centre in there. That sort of dinging you hear, that's uh, properties being upgraded and it's happening at a wild rate. Fine furniture has burned down, that's because we didn't give them. the fire station in time. Oh well, not to worry. We do have severe abandon abandonment issues in this area. There's, there is a definite lack of workers, although I think that's probably more down to the lack of roads going into the area. So that should help them. I think the other thing we could possibly do is provide them a public transport setup. I could pop down a metro station at this end. And then another one perhaps near the stadium. The stadium is probably our most connected part of town at the moment. So if I bring this tunnel around. It will be a very straightforward metro line. We do also need a little bit more money before we can complete this. We have reached 16,000 which means we are now a big city and we can create our water treatment plant. We can also build a crematorium. The modern way to process the departed is through the use of thermal energy. Coincidentally, it also saves space. That's a little bit of a... Almost a heartless way to put that, but... Well, not to worry. Well, it definitely gives us enough money to finish our... Metro tunnels. And all we need to do here is build it round in a circle like so. And that will connect our industrial district to our residential districts. We will need to give the Metro Line water. The other one should be okay. Yep, it's well within reach. I'm just going to make sure the stadium's fine for water. And we're going to build our sewage treatment plant. Apparently, no, it's fine. I was about to say it's off the water grid, but no, it's okay then. Pop down three more wind turbines, and that gives us a good cushion of 100 megawatts. In fact, it's 140 now. Looks like 
that was just buffering up a little bit there. So how is our water supply doing at the moment? Our draining capacity is 520,000, which is good. Although I'm not sure how much of that will be purified before it actually reaches a river. I think our best bet here might be to actually go ahead and destroy our, our lines here and just build another couple of treatment plants. So we'll demolish you and you. And that gives us plenty of chance to build this one. It should be connected up straight away. Yeah, looks like it is. Now if I get rid of this that would take us down to 320, I think. Yeah, we're okay then. But actually, we can go ahead and build our third one anyway. So we pick you up. And now we have the same in terms of capacity for pumping and draining. However, the rub is here we will no longer be polluting this coastline. Although, by the looks of it, that's a little bit late. <laughs> it looks like I've already polluted the coastline beyond belief. All that's left for us, I would say, is to look at buying more land. We could buy this one, which means we could just continue building in the same direction, it would also give us a nice through road. It's worth considering. We do have through roads in a couple of the other areas we can get. Oh, hello there. We have a full facility. Let's. I believe that's probably the landfill. Okay. So we definitely need another incinerator. We don't want to build that too close to anything. There's probably a good idea. Now I can work on emptying that one. I will also provide them with another. Pop this just out of the way here. It's hooked up to the water and not the electricity. But that's very easily solved. I don't actually know if a landfill site requires electricity, but not to worry. One hundred and forty one visitors last week. Well, clearly the sports team isn't particularly well supported. So it's obviously a hockey stadium. Am I right? We have some needs here, which definitely means the last thing we'll do for this episode is create a new section over in this direction. This is just going to be some abstract lines. Can I? I probably can't. No.
Okay. And uh, we'll maybe have just a couple going across like so. So this is our new area. We will section this off like so. Butler Park, no no. Will not be called Butler Park for long. It does actually, it doesn't look entirely indifferent to the spire. That's not my intention here. It's now Dunbar Park, except it's not because that didn't save. Dunbar Park is a small section of Whitfield which is, well, full of low cost housing shall we say. We are going to have, because our main need at the moment is actually we do have a lot of need for industrial too so we'll give them shopping around the outside because we do need commercial The way I've built this, it looks more like Ormiston Park than it does Dunbar Park, which is another area. However, I think this will be far enough out of the way that we can actually build maybe not that far in. It looks like it's going to be far enough out of the way that we can actually build a little bit of industrial here as well, since we have the need for it. We'll just do that to about here. As the music gets to epic levels. We're not quite done here. We'll have some general low commercial, low density commercial here as well. Like so. And some low density residential too. Because it doesn't all have to be high density. We even have a small office section too. So I would say Dunbar Park is probably our most branched out area. Just need to be sure it's continuing to stay hooked up to the electricity. And if they're building there, then no, that's not going to be, but I can't really help them. Nor do I particularly care to. Dunbar Park can have a fire station. It can also be home to Dehumanised Land's first police, full, full blown police station. Our needs are going down so we can accelerate again. are about to reach 20,000 population. And in fact, we just have, which means we are now a grand city. Now this is actually, this is the furthest I've ever been, 
Uh, my other two major cities are sitting at around about 17,000 population. So we're already reaching heights that I haven't achieved yet. We can now build a solar power plant, which I'll definitely be partaking of. And I think for now, I should probably just end this episode here. So, that in mind, when we come back to this, we'll be building our solar power plant. Probably more than one of them, I'd imagine. And we'll just provide the finishing touches to Dunbar Park. Also, we will be buying more land and expanding further outwards. So, be sure to join me for that. Like I say, content on the channel should be becoming a little bit more professional over the next little while, as I start to get used to the microphone, etc, etc. So please leave likes, comments and subscribes, and I've also um, started branching out onto Twitter more. So feel free to add my Twitter account, which is just Dehumanized LP. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. And like I say, I'll see you in the next episode of City Skylines. Bye for now.